Hi, my name is James Sullivan, and I'm the Director of Product Development here at Sullivan Supply. Over the past two and a half years, it's been my mission to create a line of colored paints that this industry has desperately needed. This process took a little longer than normal because of our determination to create a line of paints that match the same performance as our ever-popular black touch-ups. Focusing first on the same incredible spray rate, texture, dry time, and finish. Our next priority was to create colors that actually represent the many shades we see in today's show industry. After a lot of trial and error, seven shades rose to the top. Silver Fox, Blondie, and our line of reds that are numbered one through five to represent lightest to darkest. With the assistance of Josh Elder, we are gonna demonstrate these five shades for you today. Hello everyone, I'm Josh Elder with Sullivan Farms. I'm here today to help Sullivan Supply introduce their new exciting uh, line of paints that they've been working on for the past few years to get them perfected and available to uh, fit your guys' needs. The first new paint that we have here is shade number one. It's called Fawn. It works really well on light colored Herefords, Gelvies, Limousines, and your Red Angus cattle. As you can see, this new paint, it comes out in a nice dry form. Uh, doesn't give you that wet, unnatural look. Nice and natural coming out of these cans. Um, it covers extremely well with less application, not needing near as much uh, t to cover the, the white touch-ups or the white paints that you may use for the leg builder. Just gives you a nice, natural look with a, with a good cover and uh, less application as well. Another shade that we have here is shade number two, the copper. It works really well for light to medium colored Herefords, your red Angus, and uh, your light colored Shorehorns as well. The copper paint, uh, again, the paint, these paints come out nice and natural, uh, no wet substance to them. It covers really well on these solid uh, colored legs or the areas where you might spray your adhesives or your white touch-ups and, and leaving no white residue look through, through, the, through the paint giving you a nice natural look and cover. Another new paint that we have here is shade number three, Brick. It works really well on dark Herefords, medium Shorthorns, and your Red Angus Heifers. As you can see, it's covering the leg really well. It's still coming out nice and natural and dry, and it's giving you a nice, nice hair-like substance to it. And it, it doesn't take near as much to, uh, to cover the leg with this paint, and then it still stays full looking without having to reapply as much as well while still giving a natural look with added brightness. The shade that we're gonna show you today is uh, shade number four. This is the red velvet paint. Uh, works really well on uh, red Angus cattle, um, your darker red type of cattle, the short horns with the little darker red in them, and uh, your darker uh, t type of show steers as well. These paints have excellent color matching with your cattle, and they still give you a nice natural hair-like substance in multiple areas of your calf. Another shade that we have is shade number five. This is the darkest of the paints, the dark crimson. Works really well on uh, your dark, dark colored shorthorns, uh, dark Herefords, and your dark uh, red steers as well. This works well in conjunction with the red velvet paint to help darken it up a little bit. Like the rest of our new touch-ups, dark crimson offers great coverage with less paint. We found that this new line of touch-ups are a huge advantage in fitting today's show cattle. After excessive testing by our team and many of today's leading fitters across the country, we have a line of paints that provides excellent hair-like texture and a rich, bright appearance that will not fade. These paints match more hair colors than any product on the market, and we stand behind them 100%. We believe that these are exactly what you've been waiting for.